Hello everyone. I've wanted to do this video a while now just to share my love of gameplay objects with you. I love it when a new pack comes out and we get new things like these, objects that add new interactions and abilities and sometimes even give you new ways to make some side money or assert your dominance over others. If you feel like I've missed any, be sure and let me know in the comments. I went through just about every pack looking for things that had a little gameplay but weren't the main way to gain a skill, or that only exist to have fun. I'm starting the list strong. Birdie's Bee Box from the Seasons expansion fits the mold of what I'm talking about. It's tied to gardening in a sense that it adds bonuses to plant evolution in an area around it but it's completely unrelated to gardening in every other way. You don't level the skill with it and interacting with the object has a lot of little mechanics even if they're somewhat simple. First, you're better off to keep your bees happy so you tend to them once in a while so you don't get stung and keep them free of mites so they have a healthy life. In return, they'll give you honey and gradually become your BFFs that will happily go find collectibles to bring you as gifts or be your secret little homing missiles to pester an enemy. Bees peak in summer but are partially active in spring and fall. The honey your little bees will make during these times gives your sim a total immunity to hot and cold weather effects and seasons, so it's nice to keep a jar handy. Similar to real life, it has no expiration date. Next up is the Whispering Wishing Well from Romantic Garden. It's not as deep as the bee box, but it lives up to its name by allowing your sim to toss one simoleon into it to make a wish or an offering. There are a variety of wishes you can ask for, like happiness, romance, skills, and even to have a kid. <laughs> you don't always get what you wish for though. You may ask for money and lose 5,000 if the well's in a bad mood. Ask for youth and get aged up. The well has like six moods, ranging from super happy to overwhelmingly negative and death. Even when it's happy, you're not guaranteed a good result unless you cheat the well, which is entirely possible and what I used to make sure I got a negative outcome for this video just now. Nice of Maxis to leave that accessible to us. Thankfully, you can sort of push the odds in your favor by making an offering to the well. You really should be careful by doing this unless you want to YOLO it or save first because a few of the wishes can turn really badly for your sims. Skill and career requests can result in emotional death if they go badly. That said, you could be promoted a full level or get up to 10,000 simoleons from a wish for wealth. Fish traps make this list because while they benefit from fishing skill, they completely change how you go about fishing. Set them in the water and as time passes the trap will gradually catch fish and other collectibles for you. When the time comes your sim empties the trap and takes the whole haul at once. Fishing as a money maker can be incredibly time consuming, but traps are able to be used passively. They have issues when placed somewhere your sim doesn't live, as time needs to pass for them to fill up. Because of this, I recommend you only really use them if you live in Sulani, but your results may vary. Canoes receive an honorable mention as a new transport method and as a platform for a change of scenery when using the fishing skill. There's deep and shallow water fishing involved in both the canoes and the fish traps. Rather than what fishing spot you're at, it's looking at the depth of the water. Next up is the streaming drones. While the streaming drones are attached to the media production skill and get famous, they're not necessary to it and are unique enough I felt like I should mention them. Media production itself is a minor skill and not very popular either. Buy a drone, turn it on, and it'll follow your sim around recording whatever it is they're doing, either by live streaming or actually making a recording. They can also gather footage of the neighborhood, but good luck finding the stupid things sometimes when you do this. On a happier note, live streaming will get your sim fame as they gain a following, but the raw recordings basically let your sim become a YouTuber. 
Once this footage is brought to a video station, your sim can use the skill to turn the footage into a video that can be uploaded for money and a chunk of fame. The main reason they make the list is the streaming drone does not require media production to be used for live streaming whatever it is your sim does, be they a fisherman or an actor. It's an extra way to gain fame faster that isn't tied to skill at all. Another one from Seasons makes the list. Patchy the straw man is an object, but he's also not an object. Place one of these on your lot and you'll have one of the most OP items for money making. In order to get the most out of Patchy, you need to befriend him first. You can talk to him a bit until you've got the option to ask for gardening tips, and at that point, he's your friend. This is a great thing in itself, as you can ask for tips every 12 hours and also search for seeds in his pockets. With these unlocked, you are Patchy's friend and will get a scarecrow costume in Cass. Patchy will now occasionally come to life and tend garden for you, use your computer, and act a bit like a random visitor. But he does tend to prioritize working on the garden. You can also use door locks and fences to do mean things like, say, confine him to a garden area so he can't invade your home or sleep with your wife. So, my first pet stuff was not player's most ideal pack, a DLC for DLC. But Hammy the Hamster does somewhat meet the criteria as a more in-depth gameplay object. It's not just hamsters, as you can have a rat, hedgehog, or bubbleless void critter. None of them do much for you, but you do need to care for them. I'd say the main reason I added this is Hammy can indeed have a big impact on your gameplay if you fail to do the basics, like stay on friendly terms with them. A bite from a rodent that lives in a nasty cage can result in rabid rodent fever, resulting in your sim's death. And that, to me, definitely impacts gameplay. Sadly, you can easily save a sim who has this by researching rodent fever on the computer or talking to a vet. It's possible to care for rodents and have them still die of old age, but you can buy special items from the vet clinic medicine dispensers in order to stop their aging. If your pet gets smart enough, they may eventually take off in a rocket. You can evidently limit their IQ to prevent this, I'm really grateful for the trailer as I'm not sitting there for hours waiting for this to happen with the game recording right now. Screw that. Relics make this list as while you do need a sim to explore archaeology to refine the crystals that you need for them, your other sims can take advantage of the relics themselves. Now, I'm really just bringing them to people's attention as they're not something you can outright buy like Apache. Despite this, they're definitely one of the deeper things here, and without a guide, it'd take quite a while to explore what all of the combinations do. See, you start with one of three bases and can combine it with one of three tops for a total of nine combinations. Once the two are combined, you'll get one based on what you combined, like a Zazatotl Death Relic or a Zazatotl Watcher Relic. Each of these does something different and the strength of the effect varies based on the rarity of the crystal you've put into the relic. The effects can be really powerful, like dooming a sim to die if they don't seek to have a curse removed, which I doubt an NPC would ever do. You can do less harmful things like forcing a sim to be obsessed with Selvadoradian food, or summon a skeleton assistant to clean up the house. Strangerville's listening device definitely makes this list. Why? Because it's not connected to any skill at all, even if it's mainly used for that pack storyline. I think you can level logic with it, though. The listening device allows you to buy bugs, which can be used to listen in on Sim's conversations and gather intel on them. This information can then be used to blackmail the other Sim. Not something you can necessarily make a living on, but you could certainly try. My advice would be to get high charisma, borrow money you won't pay back, then blackmail them for more. All in all, the listening device is really simple, but it does count as a unique activity that isn't just for fun. This one will be brief because it's sort of stretching the definition here. 
but incense holders came with spa day and are pretty cool for what they are. Light one in the area and Sims will benefit from one of six different moodlets based on the scent that you choose. It's not much, but I'd like to see more little things like this added with packs in the future. Just try not to start a fire. The Celestial Crystal Crown came as a surprise because I didn't know it was in Get Famous at all. This new object makes use of collectible crystals and giving new purposes to collectibles is something this game sorely needs. This thing has a ton of effects. Seriously, it's, it's huge in that nearly every crystal has a different impact on your sim or those around them. They can fill particular motives but only temporarily. But this could be used with a turquoise to remove uncomfortable moodlets. Using a diamond will fill the social need and boost fame gains by 50%. Hematite can give you double career gains. You're rewarded for knowing what the crystals do, and it's handy ha to have a variety of crystals on hand because of how it works. I have a video on this and a list of crystal effects on my site if you'd like to learn all the effects to take advantage of this wonderful little addition. Now, be warned, things might go sour for you if you don't pay attention. Crystals only last so long, and, and continually abusing it without paying attention to the very easy-to-see energy meter on the side could result in your sim having a really bad day. Simply remove the crown and replace the crystal when it's low, or remove the helmet altogether. It's a crown, but I, I feel like I'm going with helmet, okay? The only drawback is it makes your sim embarrassed to wear it, but that can be fixed by taking the shameless reward trait to make your sim immune to embarrassment. Washers and dryers are definitely going to come up in the comments, so I'm including it here. The thing is, it's literally the main point of the Laundry Day stuff pack, so it's not some buried thing like the Crystal Crown. The way it works is Sims change clothes when they go to a shower, and this gradually piles up in the hamper. You can then do the laundry, and on future bathing, they'll wear fresh clothes and get a temporary moodlet from it. <laughs> it's actually nice, and I liked it enough to make a gameplay video about it. The pumpkin carving station from Spooky Stuff that was shown earlier in this video does deserve to be listed, though it wasn't initially in this video because I almost missed the value of the pumpkins. High quality carved pumpkins can be worth about eight times what you've put into them, so it's a viable way to make a little money in the game and has its own unique animations. I love objects that reward players who learn about the game, do different things, and even have a little gameplay all on their own, but there aren't very many that fit the criteria I was going for in this video. We wouldn't talk about guitars because it's directly tied to the guitar skill, right? Same with like the flower arranging station. So yeah, keep that in mind. The handiness woodworking bench could be argued to fit, but I've covered that twice at this point. Anyway, share your thoughts on these and others I might have missed in the comments and thank you for watching.